Hi everybody and welcome. I hope you are doing well. I uh, hope you've had a good week. I'm doing fine. Excited for showing you today's uh, Timu haul. Timu haul plus one item from AliExpress. Uh, as I usually do, all of the items that are still available or that I have a link for will be linked down in the description box. So if you see something, you can just head down to my description box and uh, click on the link and it'll take you right to that item. So if you enjoy my videos, uh, if you can give it a thumbs up or you know leave a comment, it is so helpful. And if you are watching and not subscribed, hey, you know, click that little subscribe button. <laughs> I really would appreciate it. So we have a good variety of things today. I got a few clothing items, a few makeup things, jewelry, I always put, I put jewelry at the end. You got to stick around to the end to see the, the, the good stuff. So anyway, let's get into it. So the first item I have is a set of makeup brushes. I got a super good deal on these. I got the set for $8.24. The regular or current price for them is $16.49. It is available in two colors. This is the color that's called, they call it champagne. I mean, I wouldn't really call that champagne. It's basically like a brown color. And then it also comes in black. So it has 15 different brushes in here. So I've said it before and I'll say it again. I'm certainly no makeup expert, but I, I think it seems like a great variety of brushes. I can't imagine there'd be too many other brushes that you would potentially need for doing your makeup. So I do think that it it seems like a good set. They are super soft. I do think that they, they feel like nice quality. I haven't really noticed them shedding at all. So yeah, I'm thrilled with these, of course, not me not being very good with makeup, not really knowing. Uh, I'm going to have to have like a little cheat sheet to look at to, to know what brush I'm supposed to, to use for what. So, but that's okay. I can do that. The pouch is nothing super special. It's just like a faux leather. It does have a little strap for holding on to, and then it's just open, but you know, it does hold all of the brushes. They fit in there nicely and then it has that a little snap closure so um $16.49 I probably is still a good deal for these um but yeah if you can get them for $8.24 definitely go for it <laughs> so the next item is this three color contour cream I paid $4.94 for this it is currently $5.49 it does come in two color options. This color here has kind of like a white, a green, and then kind of a yellowish green. The other one is similar colors to this one that I've brought previously from Timu. So it's got like kind of the peachy color, a purple, and then a pale green color. Um, I've This is the one that I've been using. Like I've purchased this, I think, I've bought this like three or four times and I really like this the only reason I decided to try this one is because on the listing it kind of said that this color kind color combination is more for people with uh, yellowish skin tones and that this one is for people with fairer skin so I thought maybe this would be better for me I don't I didn't really like it I feel like I look paler than usual like I feel like it didn't add any warmth to my skin which I guess makes sense so I definitely prefer this color combination I also this did not like the smell of this this whether it was I don't know when I first pumped it the first squirt I got only had a little bit of the creamy looking stuff the rest was like a clear gel so whether it was more the that gel that didn't smell ple very pleasant or or what I, I don't know but I just like rubbing it on my face I was thinking oh man this stuff stinks but yeah I probably 
probably will continue to use it just to use it up seeing as I, I bought it, but I, I wouldn't reorder this one again, probably wouldn't or reorder this brand, um, even in the other color variation, because it just doesn't smell good. I definitely prefer this one. There are some on there on Tamu that have um, sunscreen in them. I have not tried the one with sunscreen and I probably should. So uh, my next purchase probably would be one with the, with the SPF just to give that a try. But currently I would say this one is definitely more my favorite. Next we have this little jar, which is a lip mask or lip oil. I paid $2.99 for this. I did get a price adjustment. Currently it is $2.69. It is available in two different colors. So it has this like pinkish one and then there's one that is kind of a peachy color. It doesn't indicate whether there's a difference between them. They both are labeled with cherry blossom honey lipstick based on the pictures. So like I said, I don't know. It doesn't really indicate whether or not they are a different scent or, or maybe slightly different ingredients in it. I really don't know. Um, this is definitely more like a cherry blossom because I have other cherry blossom stuff and it smells similar to those. So it's, I really like the smell of it and it's just kind of like a little gel in there. It does come with one of these little honey dipper type applicators. I have tried this. I did like it. I, like I said, I, I, I think it smells great. It's not sticky on the lips. It feels nice. It moisturizes and um, I likely would purchase again. The only thing is it definitely is smaller than what it looked in the pictures. I swear Timu must hire models that have like tiny hands strictly so that when they put the pro are holding the products and it makes it look that much bigger. I mean, they're holding it in the palm of their hand, you know, and it looks an okay size and then you get it and it's like this teeny tiny little thing. So it's fine. I, I, I do like the product. It smells great. Not a bad price, but yeah, it definitely is a little deceiving from that listing. It definitely looks bigger than it is. Okay. So now we're moving away from the makeup stuff. Next item is the set of six spoons. I paid $2.78 for these. Currently they are out of stock, but honestly, I don't think you're missing much. <laughs> they are stainless steel. They are labeled as long handled, but I mean, in my opinion, that's not much longer than a regular, like small spoon, like a teaspoon would be. They says on the listing for, you know, iced tea or ice cream. And I'm sorry, but like the, the, the spoon part, like the part that you would be scooping your ice cream with is tiny <laughs> and they're not good quality. They're not very good quality. They're, they're super thin and flimsy, um, you know, kind of sharpish edges. I mean, you're not going to cut yourself on it. I wouldn't think, but you know, I, I can't imagine it would be the nicest to be eating off of. I did not buy them to use them for eating or even as a spoon for like iced tea or any other drink. I bought them just to use them as little scoops when I'm crafting. So I'll just use them for scooping out glitter or um, mica powder or sequins or whatever when I'm working with resin just to uh, get into, you know, because they're usually little containers. So just to get into like a little container of glitter or whatever and scoop some out to add into resin or whatever. So yeah, for that, I think they're fine. But yeah, I definitely would not recommend that you purchase these to actually use them for spoons that you would be eating with. So yeah, they're not, not the greatest. Continuing on with craft stuff, the next item is just this package of 50 little plastic mixing cups for resin. I paid $2.49 for the pack of 50 and that is the current price also. You can buy a package of 20 of them for $1.49. So nothing, nothing too much to say about them. They're just, you know, a good little size. They are, you know, flexible and stuff. It does, I do like, it does have like a little 
kind of pouring spout so I thought that was kind of good but yeah just for mixing glitters and stuff into resin and then pouring into the mold so uh, I don't think it said on the listing how much it holds but I would guess that's maybe about an ounce or like 30 mils or whatever so but yeah so it's so exciting oh Karen you show such exciting things a couple of hauls ago I had gotten a resin thumb book support so it's just like a little resin thing I meant to grab it from my daughter and I forgot just a little resin shape that you slip over your finger and it's just for when you're reading a book to hold, help hold the book open for you and uh, I think it was about a dollar seventy that I had paid for that my daughter is very happy with it thinks that it's uh, you know great helps um, so that her hand doesn't get as tired trying to hold the book open for uh, while she's reading so I did think I have several friends and family members that that still read actual books as opposed to digital so I thought it might be a nice idea as a you know little gift for for them but rather than purchase ready-made ones I thought I would get a little mold so this resin mold was $3.49 when I paid for it uh, it is currently $4.99 for the mold that has the four grids in it there is also one that has uh, 12 in it which has I believe it's three just three of each of the designs and that one is $11.49 I do like that it has some different designs I believe the one I got my daughter is probably like this it could be this one I'm not sure but yeah I thought it was kind of cute I think the heart one is is kind of cute too looks like they're all similarly sized as far as the thumb hole yeah I just thought that would be a nice way I could make up some of these thumb supports for holding your book open and uh, gift them to friends and family so the next item I have is just this silicone mat I paid $4.49 for this I did get a price adjustment currently it is $3.99 it is about 16 inches long and about 12 inches wide and it is available in seven different colors I got the white because I previously bought a black silicone mat thinking that it would be good because it wouldn't I mean it's gonna get dirty but I figured the black just wouldn't show the dirt the same way that a light colored one would but I was using it one day when I was doing some uh, UV resin crafts and I had a mold with resin in it sitting on it and put a lamp on it to cure it and I cured it like let it run the little UV lamp run multiple times on it and yet it just wasn't curing properly and then after I was after a bit I, I thought well maybe it's the black mat so I grabbed a piece of white cardstock and stuck that underneath the resin mold and it made a difference so the black mat yes it will be good for you know using and not making mess of my actual counter and it won't really show the dirt like dirt and marks as much but yeah I'm gonna have to use a light colored mat if I'm using it with resin UV resin so that it hopefully will cure properly so yeah this next item is uh, called a deburring tool I don't even really know that deburring <laughs> is actually a word but anyway I paid a dollar eighty-five for this. It's just like the handle and one of the cutting heads. It is currently two eighty-eight for the handle with one cutting head. They do also have a set that comes with the handle and ten cutting heads, and that is currently seven fifty. Or they have a set of just ten heads, and that is four twenty-four. So it is just a little head that has. Uh, honestly I don't 100% know I don't know if it's like some sort of carbide or something I'm not sure but it just has a bit of an edge for cleaning off um, sharp edges and stuff so it the listing mentions using it with 3d printing so to clean up the edges of your 3d printed objects to get rid of seams and, and uh, just the rough edges uh, my intention is to use it with resin crafts so I have seen 
several people on YouTube using this tool to clean up the edges of their resin projects just to round off the edges a little bit or if there's little excess bits of resin that aren't supposed to be there just to get those off so that is my intention for this object and uh, yeah I I'm hopeful that it will do a good job so and if it does then I probably will go back and order the set of 10 tips so our last craft item today is just this set of tweezers I paid a dollar fifty seven for these and they are still a dollar fifty seven the listing I got them from pink was the only color that they came in which is fine because pink is probably what I would have picked anyway uh, there are other listings that have other colors though so I just got these to use um, when I'm doing my resin crafts just for lifting you know little sequins or beads or whatever I have to use in the resin so yeah they're just like a set that's just kind of a pointy tip and then the other one is just an angled tip so should come in handy and you know nice and cheap so those will be good so the next few items are pieces of clothing the first one is a dress it was called a boho dress I paid $23.58 for it. I got a price adjustment. Currently it is $22.17 for the sky blue color that I got, which really kind of looks a bit like a teal color. And also there is a red version that is $22.17. Then they have a green that currently is $26.47 and a navy that is $23.57. This dress comes in sizes 1XL through to 5XL. I got the 4XL. So it has a pretty wide v-neck top. Then it has just kind of under the bust area, some smocking. They are kind of three quarter length sleeves. It has a little bit of a ruffle at the end it is a maxi dress so it is pretty much full length on me and it has a ruffle part on the bottom you will see on the try on clip how it looks i was super happy with the style and how it looked on i thought it fit well i i really liked how it looked but this material is <laughs> atrocious <laughs> it is of course 100 percent polyester but it is just, it, uh, it reminds me of a cheap Halloween costume. You know, it's just shiny, kind of shiny. It's thin, kind of slippery. It's just not, it's just not nice material. You know, it's, it's so frustrating because you can get stuff from Temu or other places that are 100% polyester and the material feels great. And then you get other stuff that's 100% polyester and it feels horrid and I don't understand like it's just yeah because this is I like the the material the, the pattern of the material I like the pattern the color the style I like how it fits me but this material is just not not nice I don't like it at all so Unfortunately, I am kind of bummed, but I will be returning this because, yeah, the material is just horrid. This next item is a pair of leggings. They are capri length. I paid $9.44 for these. Currently, they are $12.09. They come in four colors. They come in black, a dark gray, a burgundy, and then navy, which is what I got. I'm not sure how clear that is on camera that it's navy and not like black so they come in sizes 1xl through 5xl I got the 5xl they are 100% polyester unfortunately they do not have pockets so um these are comfortable enough to wear I do think maybe they fit a maybe a little big um I am definitely bigger proportionately bigger in the thigh butt area to my waist so 
I do find these a little bit loose in the waist just when I tried them on. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, whether I'm going to keep them or not. The material does feel nice. It is soft. It's not super thick, but my intention will be to wear it with like a long top. So it's not that big of a deal for me if they are a little sheer. I did not check to see if they would be squat proof, but because as I said, I, I mean, it's not something that I would be having to worry about because I will be wearing it with a long top over to, over them. So, but I could easily see them not being squat proof if, if you had on lighter colored uh, undergarments. So they are, like I said, nice and soft, but they are on the thin side. I had ordered some full length leggings that I've hauled before and I've went back and to the same seller and looked for Capri length leggings. And so I did order some from them. They, they don't have pockets, they're not like the same style, but I'm hoping that from the same seller that they might be the same material because they were not super thick, but they were a thicker material. They were nice and comfy and I'm hopeful also that size wise they would be similar these as i say they fit they are a little loose in the waist which when i first tried them on i was thinking oh they'll probably be fine but i just feel like probably if i had them on they would just stretch and i'd end up you know having to yank them up throughout the day when I, if i was wearing them so i'm thinking these are probably going to be returned um just because more of the size than anything so the next and last piece of clothing i have is uh, it's a dress although I will be wearing it more like a top so it is not super super long I'm gonna be wearing it with uh, probably leggings similar to the ones that I just showed you that's why I had purchased those um, I paid 2048 for this dress it is currently sold out I do have the link so it will be linked down below however um, it, like I said, it is currently sold out, but you'll be able to click on the link and then click to be notified when it comes back in stock. I, I, I really, really like this. Um, this was the only color it was available in and it was actually just said multicolor on the listing. And from the pictures, I thought it was black and this kind of off white color, but it is navy. I don't know. How well it shows on camera but it is navy so I do really like it regardless uh, even though I did think it was black when I ordered it but it has a super low <laughs> low uh, V in the front so either you'd have to wear something under it or what I might do is just add like a little snap or something that I can close there it's just short sleeves it's got a sewn cuff on it and then it just you know flares out so the back does have some gathering across this back seam so it is kind of a loose flowy look to it so you will see on the try on clip um i really really like this top uh, i'm thrilled with it if they had it in another color or pattern, I would definitely order it as well because it's just the material. It is 100% polyester, but it's just like any kind of blousey shirt kind of material. So I think it'll be very comfortable to wear. Um, yeah, I just, I just love everything about this top or dress, so. If anybody else likes it, I really hope that it will come back in stock and you'll be able to get it because, yeah, uh, I think it's, I think it's just beautiful. So yeah, definitely recommend this. So the next item I got is Rosemary Essential Oil for your hair, or I guess technically for your scalp. I paid 404 for this and it, it is still 404. It is 30 mils and it is like a dropper bottle. So it's just, it has a pretty mild scent. Um, it's pleasant enough. 
it does recommend using it twice a day like use it in the morning and then use it at night and just put it on and then massage it into your scalp rosemary oil is supposed to have antioxidant anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties so and it's also supposed to help increase the blood flow to your scalp so i got it to try and help with my thinning hair so my hair has improved a bit and recently i think it was um my doctor upped my my dosage for my thyroid medication so i think that has uh, improved my hair a little bit but i'm hopeful maybe this will make a bit more of a difference so i will give it a try i will report back and let you know whether or not i think it does anything but um, typically these types of things I'd be like yeah right it's not gonna work but I have seen a lot of people say that it does help so we'll give it a try and see how it goes so the next item is this argan oil hair color shampoo so this is shampoo that actually um, colors your hair um, I got this for free uh, it was a free gift with purchase um, I can't remember exactly how it came about just just an offer that came up that if you were spending if you spent over a certain amount you could pick a free uh, gift from a selection of items so I picked this if you were to purchase this right now it is $16.49 I got dark brown it was the only color available on the listing that mine was from the company does also make a light brown a black and then it's i think it's red wine and grape wine are the colors so all kind of for darker colored hair nothing for like blondes that i could see so it is all that supposed to be an all natural plant formula with no chemicals but i mean looking at the the back of the box here i mean there's definitely chemicals in here like you know those long words that you really can't pronounce like polydimethyl siloxane so poly acrylate polyacrylate polyvinyl pyrrolidine pyrrolidine <laughs> you know those sound like chemicals to me so i don't know um the instructions just say to use it on dry hair you can use it on like towel dried hair but they recommend putting it on dry hair and so you're just supposed to use um, gloves and whatever amount you need to you know cover your hair depending on how much hair you have and you just massage it into your hair for about five minutes and then leave it on for about 20 to 25 minutes and then rinse it off so and when you're rinsing it when you add water to it to rinse it off it does kind of foam up like shampoo um i used this this morning um that's why i didn't put a topper on today for, for the video um i think i think it added a little bit of a reddish tone to it it very much looks like a copper color when it comes out it's actually um two separate like the bottle is divided you can kind of pop open the top here to see oh shoot so you can sort of see under there that there's two parts that come out so the one part is um, just like clear gel like stuff and then the other is sorry I got it on my <laughs> I got it on my arm so I'm like looking for something to clean up with um, So yeah, so the one side comes out and it's just like a clear gel. The other side is kind of like a coppery colored um, liquid. It's pretty thin. And then you just mix it together in your hands basically and put it on your hair. So um, yeah, I, I didn't like the smell of it. Um, it did not smell chemically, it, but it smelled very herbally. And it just, I just didn't, I just didn't like the smell. It did kind of tingle on my head. Um, I did, after putting it on, think that maybe I should just be immediately rinsing it off. But I waited a little bit and that uh, tingling seemed to go away. So 
and my hair, I, you know, it feels fine now. So I don't think I was having any kind of reaction to it per se. It is a half decent size. It's a 500 ml bottle. Um, I don't know how long that would last. I mean, obviously it's going to depend on, on how much hair you have and how much product you're using at a time. I'm honestly not sure if I'll use it again. It, it did not smell very nice in my opinion. And I don't think it did a whole lot to the color of my hair. There were people in the reviews saying how soft it made their hair. And I honestly, like, I didn't feel like it made my hair any softer. So yeah, I don't, I don't know that I would use it again. Not cause it, not cause it was bad per se. <laughs> it's just, I didn't think it did a whole lot. So I don't know. We'll see. I might try it again, but yeah, I just wasn't too impressed with it. I, I'm certainly glad that I got it free as opposed to having spent $16 on it. So, although I guess I probably could have got my money back anyway. So, but yeah, probably, yeah, probably would give this a thumbs down. So this item is just a repurchase. I was just, I don't know if it was my last haul, the haul before I'd gotten a set of these. Um, I thought it was going to be black, a cream color and a brown color, and it ended up being an orange color instead of brown. So I just went ahead and ordered a set that was like the brown color. I paid $2.42 for these and this, that is what they are still. This was the only color combination on the listing I purchased from just like the last time. They only have one color um, combo choice. So I'm definitely happier with this color over the orange color though. They are, you know, not like super great quality. I mean, they're just plastic. They are nice and stretchy though, so they're not uncomfortable to wear. And you know, with the combs, it's just nice. It really gets into your hair and pulls your hair back out of your face. So yeah, I definitely, I, I mean, I think for the price, these are, are great. Okay, so the last three items that I have to show are jewelry items. Um, I love the jewelry. Uh, the first item is a sterling silver zirconia band. It came in this little box. I have to read. It says it's lucky, a lucky box. And it says, Dear, I have finally found you across the ocean. Now I already belong to you. I wish you happy every day. Maybe I am not the most perfect one, but I hope to become more perfect in you. Thank you. <laughs> oh goodness anyway this is the ring so it is like I said sterling silver and the little stones in it are just cubic zirconias I paid $11.24 for it it is currently $9.99 I did get a price adjustment and it is available in sizes 6 through 10 10 is what I got um, this is the only color they didn't have any other colors in it so I will put it on and let you see. So there is it on. So, I mean, I wish it had been moissanite. They do have some kind of similar rings that are moissanite, but they only seem, I've only seen them go up to about size nine. And uh, I, my fingers seem to be swelling a lot these days. So I definitely need the size 10. I do think it is super pretty though. I mean, it is nice and sparkly. And yeah, I mean, I like that it's the still sterling silver, but yeah, just if it had been moissanite, that would have made it even better. But yeah, I'm super happy with it. The next item is a 925 sterling silver necklace. I paid 474 for this. It is currently 949. Uh, I don't know if it was like one of those up to 90% off coupons or, up to 70% off coupons, something like that. But anyway, uh, it is 23 and a half inches long, which I really like that length. It is available in the silver and also in a gold tone and a rose gold. Um, like I said, I love the length. I love the fact that, you know, it actually feels like and looks like a more substantial necklace than some necklaces you get on. Temu. Uh, I know like the one, even the one I had in, I don't know if that was my last video, 
it was okay but it just it really looked kind of cheap and then the my lovely necklace that I got previously with the little uh, marquee cut moissanite pendant I love this and I, I it's a box chain you know it's pretty but it's just so delicate I just like I, I see can just see that that getting snapped like I don't think that it's gonna last any length of time so my intention is to use this necklace here and put this pendant on it I also like the the length of this necklace more so than than this one so you can see the, the difference it'll just hang that a little bit lower so yeah super pretty and and you know great deal getting it for 474 so as I said at the beginning that I had an item that was from Aliexpress uh, this is the last item for today and it is a beautiful sterling silver gold plated uh, ring and it is the marquee cut so I had mentioned in my previous video when I first showed my uh, marquee cut necklace that I would maybe end up looking for a, a ring to go with it so yeah this is the ring I got this uh, ring was a bit pricier than other jewelry that I have purchased off of Aliexpress or Temu. Uh, I paid $63.92 for this ring. Currently it is $62.38. I bought a size 10. It does come in sizes 4 through 10, including uh, half sizes. And it is available in what I got, the, the sterling silver that is white gold plated or you can get it yellow gold plating or rose gold plating. So I love my ring. So it did come in a nice little gift box if you were gifting it. It also came with a little ring sizer. So if it was a little loose, you could just put that on. So that was kind of neat that they included that with it. It also came with a little velvet kind of pouch so just a pouch a little cleaning cloth and then just a little card with that uh, basic maintenance for the jewelry and the little card for the brand Ada gems it also I don't know did I say it was actually moissanite I talked about it being silver and with the white plating but it is uh, a moissanite one carat moissanite so it did come with you know the GRA card so it is like I said one carat um, five millimeter by ten millimeter marquee cut and yeah so it has the different ratings on it so yeah, I am so, so happy with this. I think it is just beautiful, just stunning. I I have been wearing it a bit and I find myself <laughs> just looking at it a lot when I've got it on because it's so pretty. So yeah, I'm super happy with that and it's like a super good match for the pendant, so. Yay. I think that's a super nice set and I'm thrilled with it these two pieces of jewelry are probably my most favorite things that I have purchased off of Timu or Aliexpress I just absolutely love them they're so sparkly all right that's all for today if you made it to the end thank you so much for watching like I said at the beginning, if you can comment, like, share my video, it is much appreciated. And if you're not subscribed, please uh, consider subscribing and uh, come back and watch some more videos. So I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will see you next time. Bye.